Um, like I said, there's a few people I've been inboxing. I have a gentleman from over, and I had to um, sh shut my Skype down, but he just said, okay. Gentleman that you and I have been speaking to, Susan, over yeah. in England, Jason. But, but here's um, here's the thing, though, Tammy. Um, the It just takes them a second to, to register a, tw a Twitter account. So. That's what I thought, too. So, I mean, we're going to make them do that anyway, right? <laughs> it's the best way and we record them and then I upload them to YouTube and I, it's on my list to create a page where all the archived ones are. Cause we often the topics are evergreen exactly. and um, stay valuable. That's why we choose our topics. So. Well, and the other thing is um, I think they might've changed it because it used to be able to just log on without Twitter. But I think Blab changed it because honestly, I mean, why not have a Twitter? That's probably what Blab's thinking. It's already free. So why not mm. get on Twitter and then kind of support that community is what I'm thinking. That's me personally. You know yeah, that's I mean? what I'm thinking as well. Although when I first started on here in the beginning, I had to sign into Twitter to be able to to do it. Right. So I don't know I unless mean, some yeah, people were able here. to. And uh, it's just a couple... Just because this platform's so cool, you just got to go through a teeny little step, people. That's it. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of lead generation. <laughs> right. I mean, you can generate leads on Twitter, right? So why yeah. not have a Twitter account and set it up the right way? So Exactly. Yep. So, so anyway, generation. Any, if anyone's arriving here and you don't know who we are, I am Susan Batchelder, uh, one half of the Unstoppable Mamas. And every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time. So that's 12 p.m. We show up here on the, this is our regular labs. Now you might find us randomly elsewhere and everything, but those are our two regular. We call them unstoppable blabs because we choose to be unstoppable. So we brand ourselves as the unstoppable mamas. And um, the topics that we bring now, sometimes we get off topic and we're visiting and such, but each, each session we choose a topic that's valuable to you to expand the conversation, to build our community. And often we, we branch off and we discuss how you can also expand your connections and your community. I myself am very passionate about humanizing this digital industry. And so when, when I generate leads I am always thinking that the fact that they're they're people each lead is a person and what else is possible what what kind of value are they interested in and most of the lead generation that I do that we do as a team is very very targeted so we have a bit of knowledge to share with you uh, it's it's both Tammy and my strength lead generation and being unstoppable. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so pay attention. Um, I at per am privileged and grateful every day to have the pleasure of sitting beside this, whichever direction is based in, <laughs> this <laughs> awesome friend, partner, and unstoppable marketer. Um, the, her, when she talks, like just stop and listen because it's, uh, she's, got a lot of expertise, value, experience, and passion on all of our topics and lead generation being one of them. So over to you, Tammy. Thanks, birthday girl. <laughs> Appreciate it. And hey, oh, yeah, you're and happy birthday to me. <laughs> and you're getting close, you're getting closer to me, but you won't catch up. <laughs> um yeah, a little bit about me. Um, Susan and I always want to, you know, just kind of say that real quickly because if you don't know us, and of course we got new people on here, um, we are both stay-at-home moms. We do this. We work this business full time, and we had to actually. And I use the word "had to" because that was our choice when we had things that fell underneath. I mean, like literally dropped out beneath us, like literally, like I had nowhere to turn and I wasn't going to go out and look for another nine to five or well, heck, I haven't had a nine to five job for 26 years. So I wasn't going to change that. Okay. I'm very stubborn. I'm English and German. And so I'm very, very stubborn. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make this work online. So I found a way and I found webinars systems and I always look for three things when I'm looking online. So um, I'm not going to go into my my crash and all that that I went through. It's it's in the past. Um, you can read about it more. 
another date. But I'm just telling you right now that if you don't have lead generation and you don't have a good converting webinar, which we always have and work with, then you won't make money online, period. So no matter what business you're in, whether it's a Starbucks startup, well, actually, that, that they won't allow Starbucks startups, but let me use another example. Subway or any restaurant, you have to have lead generation. All you people sitting here, you're marketers. You're not Nathaniel, you're not Gail, you're not Susan. You guys are now a marketer. So when you look at your life, you're marketing you. So it's got to start with you before you even think about lead generation. So me, when I started online, I knew that was what I was going to have to do because people were joining my husband and I because of us and our willingness to help people. So when we had restaurants, when we were a mortgage broker, when we were a real estate investor, we had our picture on our business cards, correct? We had our picture... I had my picture in the newspaper. I had my picture everywhere so that people would know that I'm in business. I belong to the, the you know, BBB. I belong to the better business, you know, the local places and I would network, right? Same thing comes when you're online. So you take your knowledge and your experience. If you've never had a business before, start thinking this way. Every time you're going out or every time that you are connecting with someone, think of that person as a possible client. That's the way I look at life. <laughs> Whether they're gonna be joining something with me now or down the future, I look at that person like, I wanna help them. I wanna help them make money, okay? It's not hard to make money when you know how and when you're passionate about helping people. So that's number, that's the other part of lead generation. Like Susan talks about humanizing it. You have to humanize this. They are people, they do have feelings. They have been in your shoes. They are in your situation. You're currently in a situation you want to get better at. So that lead, I agree totally with Susan, is a person. So treat them like a person because this is online. Okay, I understand. Like when Susan and I meet in seven days, I can't believe it. It's yeah. like getting down to the wire. Wow. I mean, <laughs> to know someone for a whole year, work with them for six, seven months over online, and then we're going to be seeing each other in the airport. It's going to be almost like surreal. I, I actually, I think I'm in shock today because it's like today. Next, I mean, last week I said two weeks. Now this, so anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry, but I'm just a little jazzed <laughs> to meet you, Susan. <laughs> so forgive me. Um, like I said, I wish I was feeling a little bit better today. Um, my headache is like pounding today. But anyway, it's the dang weather, right? So Pittsburgh is going to be warm and balmy when we meet. But uh, <laughs> oh, I, oh, I hope so, because this weather has been causing... I hope we have like one of those um, El Nino years, you know, where it's all warm and stuff like that, and then we run out of water in the well, but whatever, if that happens. But um, Yeah, just who picked pick Pittsburgh anyway? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> dang. Why are we I'm doing so excited this? to meet you too, Gail. And then, you know, the thing about it is, is like, we're gonna we're gonna be generating tons of leads while we're there together oh yeah because the thing is is like that's what we do like every conversation we have is okay well did you touch space with this person or did you do that I mean like literally it's our conversations are lead generation conversations most of the time a lot of times we like to goof off and have fun and talk that's just because we're friends. But I'm saying the biggest thing is you want to make this business fun and you can be creative with lead generation. Like you can get really creative with it. Okay. Um, social media is huge creative. now. Hey, the Michael Leedy's in the house. Uh, sorry, Tammy. Speaking of creative, uh, Michael Leedy just joined. Yeah, I see that. So, I mean, specifically, I mean, are we going to talk social lead generation or video specifically? Susan today or what are we going to talk are we going to talk paid are we going to talk free because there's two ways to generate leads free and then pay exactly and and you know they're both huge topics so let's talk um, today about uh, social media and free as in like free as in not in money and then um, on Tuesday we can talk about paid lead generation <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay. He's just so, telling me he can't get on the blab, so I'm like, you got to open a Twitter account. Yeah. And uh, Google, um, sometimes you have to use Google Chrome browser. It seems that some of the other browsers don't work. 
Yes, I'm on Firefox, but seems to be okay. Firefox on Chrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Explorer doesn't seem to work, and uh, Safari has trouble. Oh, Michael Leedy, everyone should have Twitter. Yes, that's what Tammy was saying. It's great for yes. lead generation. Yes. I prefer the faster generation of leads. Like, in other words, you know that, Susan. Um, if I'm bored and, like, I have no leads coming in, then I know exactly what to do. Yeah. It's just, it's just like it'll come to you, the knowledge, and then you'll be like, oh, okay, well, I can go back to that spot. Or I can, we have our favorite spots to go. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, is like, it's like addicting almost when you start seeing those leads coming in. I think it was like over 300 and some two days ago. 354. 354 in one day. See, she knows the exact number. <laughs> I don't even have to write it down or remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's the thing, and and we can do that. We can do uh, like a bounce off the difference for a second here, um, with 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 free lead generation and conversations and social media posts. Um, video is a well, depending. I guess I I can get it more predictable, but that that takes a scaling. So video as well. Anything that you're doing within social media or content. Um, is a bit unpredictable. So you got to uh -huh. do a, a lot of testing, put sometimes a lot of content out there before the leads start rolling in. And then sometimes it's a bit unpredictable as far as the amounts and stuff. But Correct. it's really targeted if you're doing your social media and video on purpose, that is. And if you're doing that branding that Tammy was talking about and really showing who you are, then those leads are incredibly targeted they come to you slightly warmed up to who you are and what you're offering already. So it's different. It's like a whole different um, lead generation journey. Whereas paid, um, the reason why Tammy and I really like the balance of both and use consistently, always, essentially daily, um, the both is because paid, when you, when you get to know how to do paid, whether it's solo ads, PPC, um, video, which I haven't done the YouTube P PPC for a while. Um, need to get that going again. But anyway, all of the paid options are uh, predictable. They're, they're scalable and um, very measurable. So that's why we like to have a, a chunk of our lead generation in that in those places and using that list of resources and strategies that we have because it is it is different, it is predictable, it is scalable, and very measurable. So that's that's the power of both and the power of balancing um, and spreading it out amongst both of those because they're, they're two different beasts, completely different. Let's, yeah, let's use that word balance. Like, can you expand upon that when you say balance, balancing them? Um, balancing the lead generation or balancing Balancing the lead generation and yeah. Okay. And, and one thing, the first thing that comes to my mind is balance is important because for example, I, um, I knew that this week was going to be a little bit like crazy where Tammy and I are both preparing for a live event. We're preparing and excited about meeting each other. Lots of distractions this week, really from our usual daily method of operations. Um, I knew my birthday was coming. My mom was coming into town for a medical procedure. So I started my uh, traffic orders for us two days early. Usually I do it on Monday and I started it two days early and I potentially ordered a bit too much because here's the thing we like to really <laughs> get on top of because follow through and follow up and engaging with these people as soon as their interest is really important. So yeah. To be, and we have, I mean, our funnel is hot. It's great. Um, but here's the thing if you really want to get in front of these people immediately, 354 in a day is like a little bit, it's a little bit too much. <laughs> it's great. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story to, later today if you want to hear it. But yeah, it it's your great. birthday. So I don't like, love that you. might be why she's not feeling good today. I exhausted her. So balance is important. It's nice to find. And that's why it's good to pay attention to what lead generation you're doing and watch how it's coming in and adjust your flow accordingly. So in other words, 600 a day, would, like that in one day would be really exciting. And sure, you can, they're going to be drip fed your 
the automation part of your system that you have in place, which we yeah. also teach Actually, you. Actually, you can you, you can give me six hundred a day. I'll handle it. Yeah, and see, but that's because you <laughs> you are skilled on it. But anyway, it's good to have a regular, like let's say, um, in, to be honest, fifty to hundred a day is really ultimate. That's a nice yeah. constant flow of fresh leads. Then you've got the automation part. And then there's the part where we engage with them and follow up and stuff. Yeah, because then when people do text me and call me and stuff like that, I won't be saying, okay, did you watch it? Whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't go to the thing, you know, like this. And I'm like, <laughs> but no, you, you I mean, need to plug in some fresh uh, batteries to that energizer bunny of yours. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. Shoot. Good thing I lost 58 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a lot more energy. So. No, it's all good. I mean, seriously, though, I mean, it depends on where you get the leads at. Like, if they're really high quality leads and they're coming at you, like, um, gosh, I mean, the conversations that I have, you know, hey, I got your email. I'm on uh, this list for work at home and I'm ready to go. And, you know, and then, you know, the conversation flows. So if you get junk leads like from Bangladesh and India and and that's cool, I'm I don't want to say junk leads, but I'm saying people from Typically, all the members I've signed up this year are states or Canada or Australia or New Zealand, England, England, Jason, if you're listening. So, you know, um, the thing is, is like, as long as you have a method of payment, you, you know, you can plug into our program. So a lot of times, you know, like. Oh, I don't know, like Nigeria, I've been contacted from, um, you know, I'm just saying, Susan, like from all over the place. Yeah. So that those kinds of leads, you obviously can't help. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, but you can't. It's hard to describe. I mean, I never, ever, this is the thing about me. I will never um, assume that they can't participate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. but like some of the leads, like I say, you know, could possibly be where it just it doesn't fit because the company or the I'm sorry, excuse me because the member to member but I'm saying some people use company still um, to pay them but I'm just saying like literally that would be an issue if they can't take payment here, yeah that's all exactly um, I'm gonna touch on something that uh, a good point that Michael Leedy mentioned that we should touch on when we're talking about like this scaling up and this amount of lead generation especially if you're doing paid it's really important and um, Tammy has, does a really good job of, of describing why we do a big ticket and B um, direct pay offers member to member and why we actually created our product the way we put packaged it and put it together but if you're gonna do paid marketing um, you want to have your funnel set up well so it functions and you want to have a good product you want to have a solid product on the other end because if you spend that money and that time doing that lead generation and if you don't have something solid to offer them and sometimes uh, a solid offer and then a backup offer if they don't if your initial offer doesn't resonate with them or isn't their their thing uh, that is really important. So make sure that the what the offer, the product, the opportunity that you're choosing is something mm -hmm. that other people want. So you need to have a marketable product, a product that is a solution exactly. for somebody's challenge or a product that is going to resonate with the people that you're going to advertise to, a fit. So yeah. choose wisely. Choose wisely. It's a very good idea to do that. Once you do start building your leads list, then you can honestly become top sponsor in any program. And I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically an offer that you can shoot out to your lead list. So with, you know, everybody on this, this right here that I'm looking at knows this. But I'll just give you guys an example. So, um, and people that maybe don't know this, um, for, that's listening to the recording, that's on our list. Um, two years ago, because of building a list and learning how to build a list, I was able to shoot out one email and I had about 75 to 100 signups in one day. I did not expect it. I was like, holy moly, this is a hot offer. Same here with, with this. Okay, because I've created that know, like, and trust, I have people that contact me, contact Susan that has been on my list for like a year. 
or two. And I mean, now we have those in, for coaching clients. So you guys can see the transition that when you first start out, you're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to hustle to get those people on your list. I don't know how else to sugarcoat it here today. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You got to get those leads onto your list. If you're going to make this a six figure a year business, then you got to be serious about your list and you got to be serious about lead generation. Otherwise, just hop off this webinar. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like that direct to here today, but I, this is my, I love this it. is my love. And this is my, I do, excuse me. I, I love it when you talk like that. It's real. <laughs> well, good, because it's going to be more real at the event <laughs> and I'm going to kick some booty there. No, <laughs> I, I'm nice to Michael. I only, I only, you know, spank him with a wet noodle, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> You're cute, Michael. That's why. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are. So, but that's the truth. I mean, like, this is my, this is my livelihood. This is Susan's livelihood. So we're serious about lead generation. And so on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're sitting there looking at your computer, wondering what to do, we'll generate leads. People, people will call me and they'll say, what do I do? And I'm like, what do you mean? What do you do? You're a marketer. You advertise. You got into this business because you knew you were going to be marketing and advertising, right? So do it. I mean, we give so many <laughs> choices. <Just do> it. <laughs> I mean, I get so like when I'm serious like this, it's not me. Like, so I have to just come back to Tammy, right? But it's the truth, Susan. Like people will, you know, I'll say, well, did you go through that checklist? Did you go through that every single day? Did you do it on Sunday? Did you do it when you were watching the Bills game? I love the Bills. I'm still generating leads when I'm watching the Bills game. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, or they're coming through our sales funnels, right, Susan? Yes. They're just so, rolling on in and they're watching they're just, our videos. They're just rolling on in. And so, so you can doing. have that. Right. You can have that lifestyle. She's going to be going to her birthday events today. Like, she's going to be seeing, checking her phone, I'm sure. And, you know, I always do. Heck, on my birthday, I always like, yeah, I'm going to make a sale because it's my birthday. <laughs> Every single birthday, every single friend of mine, um, family member, I'm like, okay, today's their birthday. I'm going to make a sale on her birthday. So today we're going to make a sale, Susan. Um, it's just a lucky day to me. So, but the thing is, is like, that's the thing that you have to realize is that when you generate a lead, that's a person. You got to follow up with that person. Don't, don't think they're going to bite your head off, you know, because they're just like you. And that's what I said on the last Saturday training call, Susan, was... <laughs> I said, okay, this is what I asked. I said, hey, Gail, um, hey, Karen, did I? Did you guys bite my head off when I called you or followed up? Did you bite my head off, Susan? No. So why are your leads going to bite your head off? <laughs> like you call them up like a friend, right? I'm your friend. We're all friends here. The leads aren't going to bite your head off. So do it today. Like pick up. You know what I mean? Like I could pick up right now and call Patrick and say, okay, so you can't get on. This is weird. So you can't get on blab. Okay. I mean, you want me to do that? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Do okay. It. Cause here's All the right. thing. And Michael Leedy pointed this out. There's, I mean, this is actually frustrating. He can't get on it right is, now. That is and he wants to hear. He's trying to get on. Yes. We'll do a live um, prospecting call sometime. How's that? Yeah. I don't have that many people in here and I better start getting used to this. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Good. I'm live on the blab and I'm just trying to figure out how come you can't get on the blab. <laughs> it's frustrating to me and to you. You're doing it from your phone. Okay. Okay. Okay, it might be because of your phone. Okay, well, my partner, my business partner, sitting right here next to me on live on the blab. So he's saying it's because he's trying to get on the phone. Would we recommend him to do it on the computer then, Susan? Yeah, if he can, just switch to the if computer. You can. If it, it might switch be just the, the, the app on his phone. It Did might be the app on your phone because otherwise you can just listen to the recording, which would be cool too. But yeah, we can we can connect after the blab. And then um, I'll shoot you out the um, the link. I'll Facebook you the link. Actually, no, I'll, actually, we're only on Skype together, I believe. But I'll try to find you on Facebook. Can you ask him quick, Tammy, if he's downloaded the app? Oh, hold on. A minute. I'll just put you on speaker, Patrick, and Susan can ask you something. OK. 
Okay. Hey, Patrick, can you hear me? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, hi. Okay, awesome. Okay, awesome. awesome. Nice to, like, meet you, like, through the blab and through the speakerphone. And <laughs> 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 it's amazing. Um, are you, so you're trying to get on on the phone. Have you downloaded the blab app? No, I, no, I haven't. Um, that's why I said it was weird. When I first went there, just to be to a regular page on the, on the phone. And then so I could log in. And then when I went back, I didn't know if it was started or because it was caught with it. But I didn't, uh, I downloaded the app because then I didn't know whether the link would work in the app or it's just a, a, a browser link you gave me. But, Okay. okay. I, I was thinking that that might be the the problem of not downloading the app, but um, Michael here says that you can access Blab through Google, but on your phone. Anyway, that's how I access it on my phone is through the Blab app. Yes, I had to download the Blab. Actually, my son did it for me. Because you got to remember, I'm not techie. <laughs> yeah. I just know how to get, get to people. <laughs> right. Okay, so we can try that, okay? And then we can chat after the blab. How's that sound? Or I can leave you on speaker and we, you can hear us talking. <laughs> It'd be like you're in the room. Yeah, cool. exactly. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're... Okay, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think we're just on Skype together. Okay. Yeah, we're just talking about free and paid paid ways to generate leads, and that's what the 90% of questions that I get from everybody, every prospect, and I always say, well, how did you find me, number one? And then they usually say, oh, well, I saw you on Craigslist, or I saw you on Backpage, or I saw you from a, an email, which means basically a solo ad or media buy that Susan and I do. And so you just kind of trace your steps back. As the way I looked and used to teach my mortgage brokers and my loan originators in real estate, I used to say, well, how can you get more leads and more money coming in? And you just, well, back then we would run classified ads. We would run, you know, we'd hold meetings, we'd hold network, we would go belly to belly from attorneys to accountants, all that kind of stuff. That was the old fashioned kind of lead generation. And then I kind of got into more online. I'd do like fax blasting. I'd do, you know, website design. I'd had a person that, you know, would build our websites and things like that. So every business that you ever get into, you have to learn lead generation. Everybody's going to be a little different. Personalities are going to be a t teeny bit different. I'm not a huge phone broadcaster, even though when Susan and I do phone broadcasting for our high ticket, she loves it. I love it. I'm not. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I want them to at least see our information first. So we usually try to put our link in the broadcast, right, Susan? Yeah. And then and then we get them warmed up to us with the video. And then from the videos, because you always want to brand yourself and your brand your sales funnels, just going back to the old, like I said, I'm in old days when you have to brand yourself, you have to make yourself known that, that this is the expert that you are, because you are. You're all lead generation experts. You all are because you have the training. So, you know, and you have the resources. So it just boils down to whether you want to do free, like social, like right here, we're generating leads right now. People are connecting with us. You get on this blab, people are going to see you. You can generate leads. Susan's um, brought on so many new people lately. Um, so that's the thing is you just, it's just about, it's really bottom line about networking too. You know, when that lead comes into your funnel, that person is getting to know you know, like, and trust you. So now you just have to reverse it. I call it the exit strategy. I'm actually going to um, create something, um, a training calling the exit strategy. Like in other words, lead exit. Like, okay, so you responded from a solo ad or whatever. So why not have you do the same thing? So because you're, you're looking at the exit strategy, like where did you come from? Like every time we pick up a property or something like that, before we purchase that property, we figure out how we're going to flip it first and where are we going to flip that property to? Does that make sense? You have a plan. We have a plan before we even go into it. So, um, so that was the conversation actually with my husband this morning when he went off and I said, you know, this, we're, he's looking at another property and I was like, okay, well, 
let's do the due diligence now. Let's go through these stages, right? I'm sorry, I get on a little real estate kick. You guys will get a little bonus here today on that. But I'm just saying, like, so same with your your um, prospects, right? What's the um, what's the extra strategy? And then so sometimes, like Susan said, so and we'll get back onto that topic because um, I called Patrick. But the thing is, is like you want to know what else can you offer that that list once you build it, right? So so when I dropped in, um, and Patrick even knows because he was in the 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 business with me. I put in 130 people in in like five six months. You know, and that was in a that was an MLM for gosh sakes, and yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty tough because a lot of people don't like MLM. So in the industry that Susan and I are now doing the member to member and the direct sales, people are very attracted to that. Very. So when they see that, my gosh, they don't have to do any telling, selling, or explaining. Just send people to a webinar, advertise. It's the perfect lifestyle business. I have to tie it into that last blab we did because it's really the perfect lifestyle business. You're not babysitting people. You're not having to say, okay, well, this is what you got to do today and you got to go bug your family and friends. No, you're showing them resources you can plug into that are paid or free. So exactly. is that a mouthful or what? I mean, I'm just trying to explain that if if you found us, if you then you can find people. Does that make sense? It's an exit strategy, right, Susan? Yeah. It's almost like an exit strategy, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Or um, <clears throat> exit makes me think that you're going to leave, but no, but I get, like I get the, your intention. Yeah. Yeah, like you're backing up your mind. Like, well, yeah. I found them from Facebook, so why can't I mark it on Facebook? Exactly. Or I found them from Backpage, so why can't I put up a Backpage ad? Exactly. That's exit strategy. Like, look at your how you came into the funnel, then do the same thing. Repeat, rinse and repeat. Exactly. We and could call it exit, rinse and repeat or something. I don't know. <laughs> we got to name it something. Yeah. But we'll I want them to think of it in their mind. It's like a mind map, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll work on that. We should actually plot it right out onto a mind map and package it. Exactly. Um, and here's another, here's another good point. And um, I was, um, Joel actually triggered this this uh, thought that I'm I'm going to discuss and when you were talking about the strategies that you used to use Tammy and um, okay. you go you go and you talk to lawyers and you know you pick a specific which is which is a really cool topic to talk about with lead generation you pick a specific target audience that will fit into what you're offering right and right you're going to you're going to talk to them differently you're going to approach them differently you know where to find the lawyers you know where to go and talk to them you know what to say to them you know why your product is good for the lawyers for example um, correct and here's the really cool thing about online marketing is the the original or the traditional networking strategies yeah they still work and if if you're in the position or if you want you or whatever blending that those strategies with online is incredibly powerful so you go and talk to that target audience let's use lawyers since i mentioned it already from tammy's conversation you go and you talk to them you tell them you have something to offer them you have an automated systemized process that they are going to love and be able to utilize you have an easy domain unstoppablemamas.com and you just tell them verbally go you have to go and watch this and find out what i'm doing then they go to their computer so it goes from offline to online you humanize it right from the very beginning because you're face to face when you're telling them this is a great website and they see the ease of coming on and using a systemized automation process to consume your product and do it themselves that's cool. Very good. That's very powerful. good. Yes. Very powerful offline to online. Correct. And you can do it in massive numbers. You can um, even probably buy niche lists of attorneys mm -hmm. and real estate investors. And, you know, that's actually something that I've thought about and explored um, and not so much um, business opportunity seekers because people that are already in that business mindset and especially that professionalism industry mm -hmm. of that like a lot of times like even dentists they want something running in the background for them you know they That's they don't right. have time because they're in that you know with the robert kiyosaki quadrant they're yeah. in the actual um 
S cot quadrant. They're not yeah. in the investor quadrant. So, you know what I'm saying? So they're probably looking at like, well, how can I, you know, make money? And right now who wants to put it in the dang markets, you know, the way it's crazy right now. I mean, you don't even know. So it's unfortunate. We actually had a conference call last Friday, Susan and I, about a couple of gentlemen that they have no retirement. You know, there is no retirement to be had like anymore. There's no social security. So a lot of the older baby boomer generation, you can target leads. That's a really hot one. Like if you don't, if you take anything away from this today, think about the baby boomer generation right now. If you, if you are like your head spinning because of what we're talking about, just that one little nugget right there, target baby boomers. And, and Susan and I are not, we just missed it by a few years. <laughs> My husband's actually in the baby boomer um he's 51 but i'm just saying like you know target that target that market because they're looking for something because they have no net they have no net That's so right. they're looking for um and and bless their hearts i'm i swear they they're they're just like man this internet something i know a lot of people and i've coached a lot of people that are doing phenomenal you know phenomenal in 80s you know yeah. i mean that's yeah. that's it's possible it's, it's it's possible and it's it's so so convenient for them. Mm -hmm. So convenient. And you don't have to have computer skills with these lead generation techniques that we that we are discussing. That's right. That's right. And yeah. if you don't um, I mean baby boomers is a is a great is a great a great great target audience, especially if you know more like what specifically what target specifically within the baby boomer age would you target? But if you don't want to do that, I would hope that you would take away today the absolute huge ginormous importance of targeting your lead generation yeah. so do all of your lead generation activities and strategies need to be on purpose they need to have a plan and they need to be targeted it doesn't matter what strategy you use you you must do it on purpose and you must be targeting something some specific target of group of people with a specific challenge problem, desire, something that they want, and you just drop it in their lap. Find them. The three magic R's, reach, resonance, and relevance will get you a whole lot of business. Exactly. Any any uh, final thoughts or questions from you guys? It's Su Susan's birthday. It's 1242. Um, anyone have any quick questions for us? I mean, you got us right now live. You got any questions, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, his birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. I did tell you happy birthday, didn't I? I was thinking I did on Skype. I was hoping. Oops. Yeah, you did. And I am a baby boomer, so there you go. Okay. He's a baby boomer. <laughs> well, awesome. That's cool. A lot of my friends and a lot of my family's birthdays in October, it was a very cold winter for your parents. That's all I can say. <laughs> But hey, Robbie was born October 2nd, so it was a cold day, cold winter. I always tell him that. Um, actually, it was never mind. I won't get into it. But um, <laughs> New Year's Eve. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so October is very, very popular for, for babies being born. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. 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 October. And a lot of my uncles are, and my my grandparents had six six kids. <laughs> so actually, she had six kids because she was um, raised in a foster home all her life. So she lost her. Parents. That's my grandmother on my mom's side. So she she decided to have a bunch of kids because she, she had no family. She was a or basically an orphan from over um, from uh, England. Crazy story that she has. But anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah, everybody wish ha Susan, ha should we sing happy birthday no. to you? <laughs> I won't sing. I, I'm a terrible singer unless I have a, a good thing behind. But I'll sing to you um, next Thursday, okay, <laughs> when we have our little um, birthday cake. No, that's right. I can't eat yeah. cake. <laughs> so, <laughs> um yeah, so we're having fun. Patrick, I'll connect with you. Um, I'll call you in about 15 minutes. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay, yeah, perfect. I, I, did, I did download Blab while you were on. I couldn't look it on for whatever reason. No big deal. I, I heard it. So oh, cool. Call when you're, uh, when you have okay, perfect. I'll call you in about 15 oh, minutes. By the way, it, you, you sent me a send request a long time ago, and I got so many. I, I actually had 5,000 people to please come out and add 
Yeah. Yeah. Same, well, so. same problem. I know I have to keep deleting friends, so people that are not active. So, okay, cool. I'll check Facebook. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay. Talk to you soon, Patrick. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Cool. That was cool. I like that. Awesome. Absolutely. See, just got to be proactive, guys. If you got yep. someone, you know, that's, um, contacting you just seriously don't be afraid to just warm up to them like that and uh, what better way than on a blab exactly so connect connect and we yeah. teach you how to connect the dots and susan's a good dot connector and <laughs> See, <laughs> this, that's your new name hey can i call you dot no i'm just kidding dot actually that's my mom's nickname uh-uh I was actually going to think funny? about calling you that. Yeah, because her name her name is Dorothy. Yeah. So her nickname when oh when she was no, I, I don't think she she gets referred to it as much anymore. But when she was younger, that was her nickname, Dot. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, the this kind of came out. So <laughs> that no, I won't call you that. That's your mom's. But um, that connector. Still, <laughs> that connector. I mean, I was I'll come up with a. I still haven't come up with a nickname for you. I don't know why, but. I usually do everybody's just hard, but you have a great birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, we'll we'll you. connect later on today. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, we got to get our room <laughs> rooms because it would, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's on the to do list. So yeah, have a great day. Fantastic day. Happy birthday. And Thank you. Enjoy Tammy. it with your family. Thanks everyone. I hope you, I hope you feel better. Have I'm already rest. feeling better. Yep. Absolutely. These blabs always make me feel better. Thanks, guys. Thanks, for Thanks coming. Gail. You Thank you, everybody, for coming. And the recording will be up on YouTube. YouTube. Okay.